Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Accounts Guru Cool. Learn accounting online. So we are here with a new video in which we are going to discuss about how to become a finance controller and being the team of accounting and finance. So everyone has a dream to become a finance controller. So considering that we are here with this new video and in this we are going to discuss about what is the career path and qualifications for a controller and what's the role and responsibilities of the finance controller so that we are going to discuss in this video so request viewers to watch the video till the end and like the video share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more videos related to the accounting and finance so here what is the career path and qualifications for a controller so for many accountants and accounting students a company controllership is an attractive career ambition or so considering that so we know what is meant by the controller so before going to discuss about the career path and qualifications for a controller it's essential to know that what is mean by the controller the name itself of the controller indicates that the person who is going to be to the control or all the finance and accounting or accounting and finance so whatever related to the accounting and finance he is the person who used to do the control on everything so that person starts the finance controller that finance plus controller so he is going to be to the control or all the activities related to the accounting and finance the controllers analyze and develop financial informations the controllers job is that he has to do the analysis and develop the financial informations and they are distinguished from traditional accountants by their forward looking approach so the person who is doing the accounting with the traditional approach but the controller he has to be demonstrate the different approach in the accounting and that's a forward looking approach that's a one step ahead towards seeing towards the future approach and most accountants record and track current finances and review and analyze past performance but have limited input into the company strategy for the future so being a routine accountant or traditional accountant they used to track the current finances and do the review and analysis with the past performance so how was a company perform in the past and what is the current numbers and how it's functioning they do the analysis of that but the finance controller is need additional skill where he has to do the company strategy for the future the key takeaways from this is that the controller has an accountant's background and skill set but a forward looking role in the organizations being a finance controller the accountant background and the skill set is essentials because you have to get the control on everything and because of that reasons your knowledge and your skill require being an accountant's background so you are aware about that how the accounting works and what skills is required for that and in addition to that the forward looking role in the organizations the controller is a senior manager with input into the company strategy and planning the person who is going to do the role as a finance controller he is from the senior manager team and with his input the company strategy and planning is going to be depend so based on the controllers input related to the accounting and finance the management is going to take the decisions and make a strategy and planning for company's growth or for the company's future so considering that the person who handles this profile is very essential and it's going to be one of the key uh, team member to take the companies towards the future growth and ca cma mba and years of senior level accounting are the huge usual prerequisites for these positions that's a chartered accountant or just cost accountant or it's mba from the 
top universities and the years of senior level accounting experience is required to reach these positions because this is going to be the very key role in any company so considering that the number of years experience and with the post graduation qualification is essential to reach these positions that's a finance controller the controller as the title implies is a company's lead accountant but in addition to taking responsibility for the company's financial record keeping and regulatory compliances the controller has a role in the company's future directions the controller is going to be a play a vital role towards the company's future directions and considering that it's essential for him to have a number of years experience now coming back to the background of the finance controller the key takeaways for that every controller job is unique but there are universal skills and qualifications that any serious candidate should purchase it starts with a college degree in finance or accounting most opening also require a masters of business administration that's mba ca cma or both important a controller has two main functions so it's essential to know that the controller has to the main functions that's the two main function he has to play the first is to oversee internal financial record keeping so the first important functions of the controller is that he has to do the oversee of internal financial record keeping so whatever the team is doing the accounting so for that he has to do the oversee the oversee it means that he has to do the check validate and see either the record keeping is as per the accounting standards or there is any need to do the improvement for that and the second is to execute an operational strategy for the finance team so one is for the oversee of the internal financial functions and second is execute an operational strategy for the finance team these are all the two main functions of the controller now many controllers have years of experience as auditors or accountants with one of the big four firms followed by several years as an assistant controller however there are tens of thousands of controllers positions in the india in the private sector in government and at non profit organizations it is possible to get to a controller positions without following the standard career path the controllers roles in the organizations now here what is the role of the controller in the organizations controllers work alongside or directly under an organization's chief financial officer that's the cfo providing key financial information with an eye on future performance and goals while the traditional role of an accountant is to show historical information reliably the role of a controller is to anticipate and highlight issues and opportunities ahead so the finance controller is going to be looked towards the future and he has to do the uh, analysis based on the past performance and current performance and do the future predictions and uh, set the future goal and future performance of the company controllers understand the company's financial objectives and work to make them achievable so the controller person is need to understand the financial object of the organizations and work to make them achievable and he has to make a team towards alliance with the future goal of company's financial objectives the specific task of a financial controller is that a controller has two primary functions one the first is to take the responsibility for overseeing the completion of internal control audits focusing specifically on possible errors or fraud so the controllers key primary responsibility is that he has to oversee the completion of the internal controls of audits and accounting and there might be on possible errors or fraud he has to do the focus on that and the second function is developing the executing and operational strategy for the finance teams to manage the day to day activity 
So these are all the two primary functions of a controller. The controller skills, what the skills is required from the controller is that this is an analytical positions requiring a firm grasp of accounting and business concepts. Controllers refine their technical skills through years of detailed accounting or auditing work. So what the skill is required is that because this is all analytical positions, so we have to do the play with the numbers and requiring a firm grasp of accounting and business concepts. So he has to know the business concepts of organizations and he has a good into the analytical numbers. Now, a substantial part of a controller job is reconciling the company's budget with realistic outcomes. That's known as budget versus actual. And that means explaining the team how processes work and how numbers are calculated. So the substantial part of the controller job is reconciling or it's spending time of himself to do the analysis of or reconciliation of how the budget with realistic outcomes that's budgeted versus actual. So whatever he has said the budget for the future spend or future revenue and based on that what is the actual spend and based on that he has to do the analysis and he has to do the throw in depth review for that that's known as budgeted versus actual and he has to explain to the team and processes work and how the numbers are calculated so that's the skill is required from the finance controllers and since the controllers are considered part of the company's leadership they need to develop the soft skills that motivate and garner respect from staff and that's very essential because the respect you have to earn from the team and you will not get the respect from your positions so the people will respect for your knowledge and you have to demonstrate that skills through your soft skills and your leadership skills then the team is going to respect to you the controller skills that's accounting students should consider courses in managerial finance behavioral studies and business leadership current professional can seek out mentors and take individual courses in leadership so these are all the skills is required to become you yourself to reach at controllers positions how to become an assistant controller the most common path to controllership includes a multi-year tenure as an assistant controller so if you want to reach to the controllership positions so before that you have to be uh, work as an assistant controller and you have to spend a number of years ensure that positions to reach at controller most assistant controller come from auditing or cost control backgrounds and many already have ca certifications most assistant controllers need to demonstrate strong competency in the use of financial management software a current assistant controller interested in career advancement should consider acquiring a graduate degree such as an CA, CMA or MBA. Some employers also place a high priority on experience in their industry. So to reach at controller, first you have to work as an assistant controller. And for that, you have to be a graduate or you're from the having the background of uh, auditing forms or from the mncs and you have to spend a number of years in that and the persons who are working currently as an accounting or accountant so for he need to acquire the additional qualifications or he has to the spend a lot of time into gathering the experience and based on that he will get this position the timeline nobody gets a accountant or nobody gets a controller job right out of college or with your post graduations and it can take a many years of dedicated work to earn the title because this is the highest respectful job into the accounting and finance and most knowledgeable job and for that your 
dedications and n number of years of experience is going to give the benefit to earn this title. The standard route starts with four years of undergraduate education with an emphasis in finance or accounting, followed by an CA, CMA, MBA, work at a big four firms, and possibly a stretch as a government auditor or senior level accounting work can lead to an assistant controller position. It's typically a four to five years path to a controllership. So to reach at the controller, you have to become a first as an assistant controller and to reach at assistant controllers, you have to be more than four or five years of experience into the assistant controller positions. And you have to be demonstrate your skills and you have to be with uh, knowledge and experience related to the accounting and finance because the account the finance controller itself is going to be responsible for all the activities what's happening into the finance so considering that you should be the knowledgeable with all the aspects of accounting and finance and you should be uh, knowledgeable with all the processes of the finance that's being ap ar or uh, it's related to the r2r it's related to the your p2p o2c so for all these three critical areas of the accounting and finance, the person who's going to be a take the charge of the finance controller should be aware about all the skill set. And he has to be have a more than four to five years of experience into accounting and finance, or he has to be work as an assistant controller because this position is going to be uh, give the strategy for the businesses to run towards the futures and to do the predictions about the futures you have to be more knowledgeable and experienced persons in that field and based on that experience only you are going to be the part of these finance controller positions and you are going to be do the predictions of your company's futures because it's going to be play a very key role to take the companies towards the growth so considering that it's essential to be a very experienced and knowledgeable person and uh, with analytical skills and your soft skills is going to be uh, take you towards the finance controller positions. So this is all from this video. So what we learn from this video is that how to become a finance controller and what are the qualifications, what are the career path and uh, how what finance controller the skills is required and what he has to do into the organizations that's we have learned from this video and uh, from following the next videos we will uh, come up with the what the question sets and what's the probable interview questions and answers is going to ask for the finance controller and how the uh, salary structure for the finance controllers that we will uh, going to discuss from our next video so thanks for watching the video till the end and request viewers to like the video share the video and subscribe our channel to get the more practical knowledge related to the accounting and finance thank you take care